So why do why do you think it's so important um, in in this sphere specifically to to try and challenge Amazon and their uh, pretty pretty large monopoly of of online book sales? Yeah, I mean, I think that you know the the arguments for why Amazon is not great for the world are very well rehearsed. Um, uh, what I would say is, even if you thought they were great corporate citizens and you thought they were doing everything really well. Um, the share of the market that they occupy in the US and the UK is so high that it can't possibly be good for the industry. So, you know, there you, when you talk to publishers and authors, you get this sense that you're either in the top 100 on Amazon or you just, you know, you're not. There's a big cliff between being a bestseller and not. Um, and so our belief is that it's really important to have humans involved in this and physical spaces involved in this part of this industry in publishing and in book selling because people need a place to go physically and see a book and interact with humans and get recommendations that have been done by somebody who's actually read the books hmm. <laughs> um, and that that gives people a way into books that that algorithms really struggle to you know Amazon is an incredibly sophisticated company and and they still don't I think we could all agree give good recommendations about books. There's just a, a limitation to what machines can do. And so, you know, we both want to make sure that financially bookshops are secure so that they can be the physical spaces that we all love in our communities. But we also want to make sure that we build a platform that puts humans front and center. So, you know, this is the very tip of the iceberg of what we hope to do over time. But the fact that we put lists that humans have pulled together front and center on our website, I think is one mark of this. Like I know that, you know, so many people tell us that they come to the site to buy one book and they end up buying many more because these lists just generate an interest in a, such a wide variety of titles that uh, an algorithm is not able to do. Yeah. I mean, like books, books are one of those weird things that you, like, I guess that's a good sign if you're, if your website is like, convincing people to almost act like they were in a bookstore because that happens to me you go in you go in for one <clears throat> and you're like yeah it's like a pint you know you just go for one you're like no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get this book quickly and get out before anything <laughs> else happens and yeah. then like suddenly you're walking around with like, this big stack and you're like mm, oh no that yeah. looks really good as well yeah. um, so the fact that, that the website is doing that that too must that's got to be a good sign right but yeah. <laughs> um, like you, you talk about actually on the website about about like why we need bookstores for to ha for a for a healthy like culture or society. Like, why do you think that is? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, there are a couple of really important aspects to it. One is, you know, there aren't that many third spaces left today. Like a physical space to go wander around and spend time um, thinking, you know, putting your phone down and actually thinking about things and interacting with people there just aren't that many of those spaces left and doing it around books is so important. It's where authors connect with their writers quite often. It's where children fall in love with reading that can last a lifetime. It's where you get um, introductions to books or authors or titles that you would never have otherwise discovered. And that there's something about a physical space that really is conducive to all of those things. Um, and the other thing is that we, you know, there's been a lot of focus over the last year about diversity in publishing and and I mean this in the broadest sense both in terms of the the voices but also just the the array of titles that are available like I was saying earlier Amazon is really you know it's a hits business you either are in the top 100 or you're not and we really feel like it's important to make sure that a very wide array of authors and titles are discovered and read by people so we did um a list with Elena Ferrante in the fall that was very well received. And on her list of 40 titles to read by women were quite a few books that, you know, our wholesaler would tell us they've only sold one or two in the last year. And then we ended up selling tens of those in a week. Mm. And so we feel, you know, a huge amount of gratification in knowing that we can help make a difference to these titles that are sometimes otherwise unsung. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's that's the, the the probably the biggest advantage of the internet. Thanks so much for listening. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to this podcast and to our mailing list 
And don't forget, my book, Brexit, The Establishment Civil War, is now available for pre-order on Amazon. You'll find the link in the description below. Until next time, thanks so much for listening.